So let's now, you know, talk about how uh, we can probably help ourselves when it comes to pollution. So, Dr. Pinto, you know, I'm going to ask you, uh, which masks do you think are possibly most effective to deal with PM 2.5? And do we need to even wear masks? If so, how often? So the most efficient masks are what, what are called high efficiency masks or the N95 group of masks, uh, which filter out a significant proportion of very fine particles. Uh, the problem with N95 masks is you need a tight seal. You need a seal such that when you breathe in, you feel the mask collapse. You know, it's almost like in a vacuum there. And it's, it's not very easy to breathe through, mm. right? Especially if you have an underlying respiratory condition to walk or to exercise with an N95 is not the easiest thing. Uh, the second problem with masks is that you need to change them frequently because uh, with this kind of uh, pollution levels that we are dealing with, the pores or the, or the holes in the mask are going to get clogged very soon. So unless you replace them almost on a daily basis, uh, they are actually going to increase the resistance to breathing and may not be as efficient at, uh, at filtering. So uh, my general advice is that you, if you have to go out on a really polluted day, wear a mask. You know, you're protected to some extent versus nothing at all. Uh, mm -hmm. If you have underlying respiratory diseases and find it extremely difficult to breathe through an N95, wear a simple, uh, simple medical mask, which at least will filter out a lot of the larger particles. It may not filter out the PM 2.5s, but the filtering out of the larger particles to some extent will also reduce your exposure and irritation and the cough that's associated with, uh, with this kind of air quality. Okay.